Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to read and test resistors, so let's go. Now, if you're into any electronics projects, you're going to need to know how to read and test those resistors because you're going to have to put them inside of your circuitry. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it, so let's get into it. Alright, so what I've done here is printed off one of these charts which you can actually get online. Uh, just do a search in Google for the resistor chart. Now I've printed that off, laminated it and put it on my desk. It just makes things easier. It shows the actual resistor bands, the first band and its reading, the second, third, etc. All the way to its multiplier and its tolerance. And I've actually got some here, some resistors which I've already labelled and put into the separate boxes which I'd suggest you do instead of having them all lying around it's a bit easier but to test them you can actually read off the resistor itself and if we read through we can see that the colors are on this one we have red red black red and then a brown which would correlate to 2 2 0 the multiplier being 100 and then the tolerance being 1% making that 22,000 ohm and these are a one quarter watt resistor and we can also test that by getting our multimeter putting it across to the range now it's going to be outside the 20k range so we're going to go to the next one put the terminals across the resistor and then we get 22 so 22 being the 22,000 ohms so we know that that's actually correct now as we go through and we can go up to some other numbers we have a a blue a gray black black and brown so the blue being six gray being eight black being zero and the multiplier is just one so therefore it'd be six eight zero so 680 ohms at um the same quarter watt resistor and if we were to do the tests across that change down our setting down to the 2k setting and put the terminals across that 682 so i'm getting 682 because there is that tolerance in there the brown which is one percent so one percent tolerance the 6.8 either in the up or down so 682 is actually pretty close and you can get resistors that have better tolerances if you need them um, I won't need them for most of my stuff but what we've also got is some 47 ohm resistors here now you can see they're a lot larger because these ones are one watt now you can go up from that where you can get these, these ceramic larger resistors and this one's a 5 watt and 22 ohm now without testing it usually it's printed on the actual resistor itself and they can take a lot more power so hopefully that was just a nice quick easy video for you you're going to need to know how to do these things for later on projects so make sure you hit the like subscribe to keep up to date and we'll get into some more of those projects down the track but thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time